Hey there, do you sense an awakening of your inner medicine man or inner medicine woman? Or a calling towards the way of the shaman as a spiritual path? Or maybe you're wondering what a shamanic journey is or what it would be like to take. If so, part of a shamanic journey could include connecting with spirit guides and power animals. That's today's topic on High Vibe Tribe Radio.com and High Vibe Tribe TV.com on my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Liz Garcia. I am founder and editor in chief of the Mind Body Spirit Network.com. And I, the network was created to consciously create and curate content just like what we're sharing here today help you raise your level of consciousness on a wide variety of topics and become the change you wish to see in the world. So today's episode was to introduce to you, share with you some consciously created content and event that's called the three hidden worlds of shamanic journeying, discover foundational practice to access helping spirits and power animals for personal and collective healing that is presented by world-renowned shamanic practitioner, healer, and teacher, Sandra Ingerman. And as I like to call her, she is a cosmic love muffin to the stars. So before I get into sharing this event, which eventually can lead to an online course with um, Sandra, uh, I want to share a few stories about a shamanic journey that I unwittingly took, my sort of connection or unwitting calling towards the shamanic path, which is just kind of interesting. I never really considered it, but I've had what would be considered shamanic experiences. So before I share uh, Sandra's uh, event, I want to sh share a few stories and I consciousness calibrations, what that is, and um, some stories about power animals and understanding how interesting their messages can be. So first of all, I want to let you know, and I'll, I'll share this in most of my because the whole point of the Mind Body Spirit Network consciously curate things that can actually shift you. And there's many teachings out there that hold no truth, meaning according to consciousness calibrations, they calibrate it at a level of consciousness, meaning what is being taught is not true. And it can't help you, it cannot help you shift in any area of your life that you'd like to enhance or improve. So if um, the map of consciousness and the teachings of Dr. David R. Hawkins is you, I have an entire podcast called Your Weekly Dose of Higher Consciousness that you can dive deeper into this topic later. But right now I just wanna skirt, you know, you know, how do I determine what to share with you? And how I do that, I, I look for, for teachers that I know have been calibrated as to the level of consciousness of their teachings. And all I'm really looking for is anything that calibrates above 200 on the map of consciousness. So I wanted to first make sure that shamanism as a practice consciousness, because you know, in the past I would have thought it was all woo woo and like, you know, goofy and not really understanding that, though I do have reverence and appreciation for the medicine man and medicine woman, but I never really knew much about shamanism. So I subscribed to a website called consciousnesscalibrations.com for which I have no financial affiliation. I just know the, the gentleman who created it. I understand where he's at as a student of the map of consciousness as I am and his commitment to sharing and calibrating the truth about anything. So shamanism on the map of consciousness in general calibrates about 200, which is all that you really need to know that the path of the shaman is positively oriented. 
life affirming, it's constructive, and it can help in new directions if you, if you feel like this is a calling for you. And the teachings of Sandra Ingerman also calibrate above 200 on the map of consciousness. So if you want to learn something from a world-renowned teacher, she's been teaching shamanism, the practice of shamanism and shamanic journeying for over 40 years, I believe. And she is the, the shaman teacher. She teaches shamans. So she, she teaches the teacher. She's the teacher as a teach as well. So um, if you haven't come across from her yet, you're, you're going to now. And you're going to find out that she's connected to so many other um, teachers of the way of the shaman. And uh, she's, so she's a faculty member at the Shift Network, and she also creates courses for Sounds True, both of whom are affiliate partners of mine. And I like to share, you know, what they have because they're aligned with teaching higher truths and sharing uh, the teaching and wisdom of higher consciousness on a wide variety of topics. So I first want to share a little bit about myself so that I can put it into context how shamanism came into my awareness. Uh, in 2003, I had what I can only describe as a quantum spiritual awakening. And this awakening, there was no other word for it. There's no other description. I knew it was quantum in nature at the time that it came upon me. And decades later, I came across uh, Dr. David R. Hawkins and his map of consciousness, which I felt resonance and aligned with because it was going to help me understand where I was on the map of consciousness at these very high levels and what type of low level confrontations I had in this vast span of consciousness. So this is kind of the introduction to how I came into understanding consciousness and kind of defining some of these experiences I've had. So something that I really felt alignment with is the notion of power animals or Native American animal spirit medicine. And I, I used to, I, I got some animal spirit cards, which are gorgeous and I love them. And I use them as oracles because the energy of all animals can be calibrated as to their level of consciousness for one thing, but also they, all of them have meaning in spirit in regards to like Native American, there's meaningfulness, there's symbolism, all sorts of messages that are really helpful to to kind of understand and get. And I use this, um, these cards, and my intention is to appreciate that if I see one particular animal a lot, I'll usually go to Google and Google, you know, if it's raccoons as an example. And which, as a matter of fact, I should go Google raccoons because I keep seeing raccoons that have been run over by cars, a lot of them, <laughs> which I hate to see, but. I'm going to go check out what raccoon medicine is all about because when you start to see things a lot, uh, particular animals, that's a kind of an alignment with the message and the energy of what that animal has to share with you. So it's super fun to get some animal medicine cards. There's all kinds of them you can buy out that are just stunningly beautiful and worth just having by your bedside or on a coffee table. And it's a lot of fun when you have a party to, to draw you know, to draw a card with the intention of letting that card speak to you from a higher level of consciousness, from spirit, from whatever, whatever you want to call it, God, the universe wants to speak to you. It can be done through those cards once you start to appreciate and see that in fact you're aligned with whatever you're holding in mind. The universe wants to answer that question or God or spirit, higher consciousness wants to help you kind of move along with what you're kind of canoodling around or contemplating in your mind in the form of a question. So Sandra's Three Hidden Worlds of Shamanic Journeying is going to talk about power animals and understanding, you know, there is typically, you know, in Native American uh, culture, there's totem poles. And I believe, I'm not sure about this, but 
a totem would be like your power animal and you may have like five or six that you resonate with and then one's really strong for you whatever that may be and you see that native american names are typically related to animals so that's also another interesting point to consider so sandra's a uh, free online event about shamanic journeying is going to touch upon your power animals as a topic. The next thing that, you know, the main, Sandra has done a bunch of shamanic journeying courses, and this one is more focused on the he, three hidden worlds within the shamanic journey. But I want to share a shamanic journey that I had on my own, and I didn't know what it was at the time, but it was a pretty fascinating experience for one thing and it happened in a very unusual place while I was wide awake and um, over the past 20 years since 2003 those first 10 or 15 years I would have these experiences of awakening so I'd awaken into higher levels of consciousness which would be considered the mystical realm which is experiencing nothing like this world is very much unlike this world loving incredible flow connection to oneness and all that is bursts of inner joy inner peace coming from within yourself feeling as if you're in the presence of divinity and i did have one particular um event one morning where i woke up i live in colorado in the rocky mountains outside of Aspen. I live in, lived in Redstone, Colorado for a while. And I woke up to this incredible sunrise in the mountains. And I felt the energy of Native American spirit, like the great Native American spirit was an energy or frequency. I could, it was palpable to me exactly what it was. The most stunningly beautiful, phenomenal thing you could ever hope to experience. So I experienced that, which is a super high level of consciousness. Um, the level of consciousness of Native American spirit is 850 on the map. The level of consciousness of Jesus, Buddha, Dr. David R. Hawkins is a thousand on the map, which is a whole other story. It's a logarithmic map. So it's huge power and huge coming into awareness of the presence of divinity within all of us. So that's one small story because it's really kind of it felt very Native American kind of shamanic in nature to be blessed with amazing grace at this level. So the other thing I wanted to share during one of these these episodes of, you know, a spiritual awakening would last anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, no longer than a month. I don't think anything was longer than a month. So during this, these times of heightened awareness, I'd have these unusual experiences. So one day, my dad needed to drive, he's in his 80s, he needed to drive down to Grand Junction, which was like a two hour drive, to have his car checked, because that's where he bought the car. And I'm in this heightened awareness, I come into this heightened awareness while I'm driving the car. And then while I'm driving the car, I have a shamanic journey, which I don't know how the heck that happened. Who was driving the car? <laughs> or how I was able to go on this journey, kind of not even, didn't feel like it was outside of my body at all. I was just present in another dimension. And my guide during that dimension was Jesus dressed up in like a Carhartt suit. And um, I've had another friend who's a medium say that, you know, your spirit guides can show up as someone that's familiar to you and um, didn't necessarily have to be Jesus himself. But, you know, we're a lava lamp of consciousness, so it could in fact have been, you know, the consciousness knows this is vast as all of us are. So it could have been anyone, but... Jesus keeps showing up for me, which is awesome. <laughs> so 
So Jesus has taken me on this journey and I couldn't remember the details of it because it was so phenomenal in nature. And I was driving a car, which I wasn't aware of driving the car while I was on the journey, which is a little disturbing. <laughs> and my dad's in the car too. So I'm here, I'm off, you know, on this journey with Jesus <laughs> in his Carhartt suit. And I'm just like very matter of fact friends with him. Like, hey dude, what do you, what are you doing? What are you, where are you taking me? So in any event, on this journey, he showed me essentially three life paths, showing me that I had options that could, you know, three, maybe there were four paths and he showed me each one of them, which I couldn't remember any of them after the fact. But this was kind of like, uh, you know, what a shamanic journey is like. And I, I discovered this after I had an interview with Sandra Ingerman. Um, I interviewed her about this particular event, which I'll share in the link below, among other interviews. We did a basic interview about, you know, what is shamanism and a shamanic journey in general. We did an interview about the three hidden worlds of shamanic journey, which is this one. And then there's another one about um, transfiguration and kind of being, you know, transfiguration into the spiritual light, kind of spiritual light. We had a conversation about that. So Sandra and I are cosmic chums for sure. We have a lot of fun in our interviews. So I'll share all of those links so that you can um, definitely hear more about this three hidden worlds of shamanic journey, which you're gonna learn about in the free online event as well. So at any time in this, uh, this broadcast or video cast, you can click on the link to register for this event, which you don't have to, it's not timed, it's always available. So you can take it at your own convenience and not have to worry about missing a date or time or anything like that. So that's my share on first understanding that shamanism is, holds truth and is of higher consciousness. And then power animals, I, I love, I'd love for you to hear what Sandra has to say about power animals now that I've shared that with you and then my own shamanic journey which I don't know how who was driving the car but as a teacher of higher consciousness I understand now who was driving the car but <laughs> that's a whole other thing for you to to take in I mean God is ever present within all of us so the divine spirit that I am was driving the car while I was off on this journey with Jesus <laughs> All right, so first of all, I want to introduce you. If you don't know who Sandra Ingerman is, you got to find out more about her. She's pretty exceptional in all that she's done in this world. So uh, I'm going to read a little bit about her bio, and then I'm going to read about her uh, event, The Three Hidden Worlds of Shamanic Journeying. And this is, here's some people. Judith Orloff says she's a rare jewel of a being and a teacher. I would concur. She teaches from the heart, that's for sure. She grabs you by the heart and makes you want to be a better person. Hell yeah! And her clarity and integrity have given me the courage. So these are just testimonials from the page that you'll be brought to to register. You can read more, you know, who are these, you know, these are pretty well-known people that know Sandra. So Sandra Ingerman is an award-winning author of 12 books, including Soul Retrieval, Mending the Fragmented Self, Medicine for the Earth, Walking in Light, and the Book of Ceremony, Shamanic Wisdom for Invoking the Sacred in Everyday Life. And um, you can go to Amazon and see all of her books there and look into them further. She's a world-renowned teacher of shamanism and has been teaching for close to 40 years. She's taught workshops internationally on shamanic journeying, healing, and reversing environmental pollution using spiritual methods. She is recognized for bridging ancient cross-cultural healing methods into our modern culture to address the needs of our time. Um, she has some pretty outstanding uh, honors, but well, let me just tell, go, I'll tell you about the honors in a, second, in a second, but she is known for gathering the global spiritual community together to perform powerful transformative ceremonies and for inspiring us to stand strong in unity so that we do our own spiritual and social work while keeping a vision of hope and serving as a light in the world. I mean, she does these huge, like thousands of people gathered together 
in ceremony doing some monitor rituals, which when you understand devotion, it's a superpower in consciousness to do something that's devoted to something other than ourselves, like our global community, uh, the great spirit, right? Helping spirits that exist in the non-physical realm. Um, devotion calibrates at 540 on the map of consciousness. So this is a giant leap for most of us to even be aware that the this realm of love and unconditional love exists and what it, that feels like. It's I can assure you it is not of this world when you align with these higher levels of consciousness. So to do global events in honor of and devotion to our own planet and our communities and our own lives is a huge power play in consciousness to be a part of that. So um, here's some honors. I mean, it's pretty exceptional. The Watkins Body, Mind, Spirit magazine honored her by including her in their 100 most spiritually influential people of 2020. She was also chosen as one of the top 10 spiritual leaders of 2013 by Spirituality and Health Magazine and was awarded the 2007 Peace Award by the Global Foundation for Integrative Medicine. Like I said earlier, she is the cosmic love muffin to the stars. So today's topic, I really want to, you know, I wanted to, you know, have the topic, awaken the ideas in your, in your, however you're feeling and kind of bring you to the next step like where can you go from here now that you've i've shared my experience you understand that shamanism is not some scary thing which you could think it's like kind of woo woo scary or you know it is not it's a higher consciousness and a powerful commitment to devotion to things outside of you know your community the globe the planet the natural life on our planet you know caring about that so I'm going to read this event so you can hear a little bit more about it. And again, it is called The Three Hidden Worlds of Shamanic Journeying. Discover foundational practices to access helping spirits and power animals for personal and collective healing. So here's the, inter here's the invitation that I'm going to I didn't, didn't uh, have time to memorize this, and nor would I. So here it is. Many of us are awakening to messages from the ancient ancestors. Breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs of wisdom on how to survive and thrive during the challenges of today's world, in our personal lives, community, and on our planet. Compassionate spirits, or also known as spirit guides, are ready to offer their guidance and healing for all life on earth, including you and the issues you're navigating. Now, I'm going to go off topic here for just a second because I want to share with you, if you, you don't believe in spirit guides or guardian angels, I'll let you know that Dr. Hawkins did a calibration of the existence of spirit guides. And it calibrates it as true at a very high level that spirit guides exist for you. Guardian angels exist for you. And I can attest to the fact that I have, I hear and see their presence. I see their messages. I hear their words. And guardian, uh, spirit guides typically calibrate at 450 on the map of consciousness, which is super high consciousness relative to the rest of the world. And to put that, all of this into context, 85% of the planet calibrates below 200, which is huge. 50% of the United States calibrates above 200. So um, to understand that shamanism, the presence of spirit guides at 450, which is 10 to the 450th power, is huge, a huge understanding. And a way for you to kind of let go of um, false beliefs, because they're they're super constructive and helpful to all of us. Okay, so back to the event. Through the practice of shamanic journeying in which you enter into an altered state of consciousness, traveling outside of time into the hidden non-ordinary realms, 
You can access this wisdom and follow your calling to restore harmony between human beings and the rest of the natural world. Sandra Ingerman, one of shamanism's most respected teachers, will share the foundations of shamanic journeying, including surprisingly simple practices for accessing helping spirits and power animals for your healing and the healing of our world. So all of these uh, Shift Network events are held online and they last for an hour. And this particular one, you're gonna discover, first of all, the foundations of ancient shamanism and how it's the path to connecting with your innate wisdom and power, healing the planet and living in harmony with nature. You're also gonna uh, discover the three hidden worlds shamans journey to in order to retrieve guidance for their communities. You're going to learn about the purpose of drums, rattles, whistle, whistling sticks, bells, didgeridoos. I love didgeridoos. There's a lot of didgeridoo players out in Colorado. It's, they're kind of funny looking, but their sound is amazing. And there's click sticks and chanting in shamanic journeying. Chanting is a pretty powerful um, level of consciousness. You know, kind of the energy of chanting is devotional in nature or can be which again, devotion is 540. Anything devotional is 540 on the map of consciousness or 10 to the 540th power. It's huge. You're also going to discover the healing effects of shamanic journeying on human brain waves and how shamanic journeying can give us a new perspective on climate change and provides us with ceremonies we can perform for planetary healing. And finally, you're gonna, Sandra's gonna give you a powerful guided journey to meet your favorite nature being, whether it be animal, bird, reptile, insect, plant, or tree. You'll learn about each other's lives and become good friends. And I have to say, I recently watched a sacred fire ceremony by one of the faculty members at the Shift Network called, um, what's his name, Puma Freddy. Kispe Singona, and uh, I'm going to do a video like this with his stuff because he has a, an event, but he's like, he's loving devotion, this guy, for sure, and um, the sacred fire ceremony, the point of me sharing the sacred fire ceremony is because the spider came across his path while he's doing the ceremony. And he shared the wisdom. In fact, I'll share the link to the sacred fire ceremony because it's pretty awesome. And um, that spider, the, the meaningfulness and symbolism of the spider is pretty awesome too. But I'm not going to tell you what that is. I'll let you watch the ceremony because it's pretty well worthwhile. So, um, so power animals can be spiders too. Just the whole point of that <laughs> segue was to share the power of the spider. And as you'll discover, a shamanic journey can help you cultivate a rich inner landscape and confidently step into beautiful new possibilities. As you master entering altered states of being, you can unlock more joy, empowerment, and appreciation for your life. You can also gain access to a team of helpful, helping spirits devoted to your healing, growth, and evolution by opening to advanced knowledge for navigating important areas of your life from career to love to fulfilling your greatest purpose. And I want to share one last little story. In this line, it says you can gain access to a team of helping spirits. Well, I can to attest to that. After I had this quantum spiritual awakening, I met with quite a few spiritual teachers and guides because I needed help. One of them said to me, Liz, you are... Um, you are surrounded by a battalion of angels. And then the other one said to me as I came in, he's like, Liz, you have quite the entourage around you. So we all have helping spirits, a team of helping spirits, whether you are aware of them or not. So I'm going to invite you to um, register for Sandra's The Three Hidden Worlds of Shamanic Journeying to discover foundational practices to access helping spirits and power animals for personal and collective healing. You'll find a link to this at the very top below the podcast or the video cast. 
And then I will share all the other links I promised in here as well. I thank you so much for joining me on this little shamanic journey today. Again, my name is Liz Garcia. I'm founder of the MindBodySpiritNetwork.com where I'm on a mission to consciously create and curate uh, content of higher consciousness that can actually shift you and help you raise your level of consciousness on a wide variety of topics and become the change you wish to see in the world. Come join me again. I've got lots more to share.